we met with Lagat in 1990 at the Nigerian Law School in a chance meeting at the fellowship meeting of the Nigerian Christian Lawyers Fellowship. Um, as usual, Lagat in just his friendly manner approached me, asked me my name, I told him, and my name stuck in his mind. And that was the beginning of our relationship. After law school, you know, went back to Lagos to check for our posting for the youth service. And Ladeb had already gone ahead of me, checked his name, and also checked for people who were also posted to Abuja like him, and found my name there. And so he approached me and said that I was also going to Abuja. That's how I knew that I'd been posted to Abuja. Naturally, when we came to camp in Abuja, we connected. And that was the beginning of a lifelong relationship with Ladeb and his uh, wife, then uh, just a friend or girlfriend, uh, Beru, who he also met uh, in the camp. Um, from that time on, we bonded and became inseparable. We formed a law partnership at the Mogwamji and Co. And it grew later to become at the Mogwamji and Osiago. And everybody who knew me in Abuja also knew Ladev, and anyone who knew Ladev also knew me. And when he moved to America, uh, that relationship continued and uh, we spent time together. And in his last moments, we were in America together with my wife, stayed with him. Each time we came to the US, he would pick us from the airport, drive us around, take us to their church, and just basically make sure that we were comfortable. I've known Ladeb for one thing, friendship. Ladeb sticks closer than a brother. He doesn't forget a name, he doesn't forget a memory, he's incredible his ability and capacity to remember things. Um, and then Ladeb is so good with details. Whatever I drafted while we were practicing together, even while he was in the US, I would send it to him to look at, I would send him an email and ask for his opinion, and he would check it uh, and tell me whether it was okay or not. He would correct my language. He would, um, you know, Ladeb was very good with language and had a way of expressing himself that was just unique to him. And I counted on him always to proofread whatever I wrote. And now that it's gone, I don't know who's going to fill that role. Um, Ladeb was open, he was transparent. There was no guile with him, there was no pretense. He was straight, you know, just straight, no corner corner. I've never seen anyone uh, as open, as transparent, and as straightforward with Ladeb. He called things the way they are. If it was evil, he called it evil. If you were a thief, he called you a thief. Um, he didn't have room to sugar, sugarcoat things or, you know, place nice labels on them. And knowing him and the kind of person he was, I was willing to stick with him through thick and thin, whatever he was going through. Um, when Ladder fell ill last year, we were in the years together. And it's so painful for me knowing that he was developing plans for the ne next phase of his life. He was working on this um, project, encouragement, encourage, you know, uh, people, help build ministers and just help them, ministers who were going through stuff to help them put themselves together. He wrote the proposal, sent it to me, I looked at it. We talked through it, I made corrections, sent it back to him. And we we're just really hoping that he would enter the next phase of his life in doing that. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be that couldn't take off. Um, I'm going to miss my friend. I'm going to miss my brother. Um, one thing I found really interesting about Ladev is his choice of music. Um, Ladev's music was just, for a, for a believer, we, I used to really find it that Ladev's music didn't line up with the way he looked or talked to me just love music and he'd always get the very best music, uh, the latest music to play. He loved music. Um, he, I can talk about Lade over and over again. I'm going to miss you wherever you are. Um, hang in there, brother. We'll join you um, when our time is done here. And your family is here. We'll continue to love them, to stick up with them. And see you soon, brother. Bye. Thank you.